So do you see where Babylon comes from? Someone called Nimrod, the rebellious one, challenging God's existence, challenging God's sovereign authority. That Babylon is the United Nations, the same tower and the same intention and the same as assembly of nations. Babylon, it started meaning Bab El, the proper pronunciation, Bab El. El is in Hebrew, Aramaic, Syriac means God. Bab means gate. So Babylon, initially, it meant the gate of God. People entered through the gate of God to know how God operates in order to go against Him. And because they did this, because they challenged God, instead of being the gate of God where we all should come out to live in harmony, in peace, in love, respect, and in purity, it turned against us because of our evil intentions. It became Babel. Babel means Bulbala, which is confusion. So instead of being the gate of God, clarity, it became confusion. Look at the world. Aren't they living in confusion? They don't know what to do anymore. They don't know what to do with this body anymore. Well, now we want to marry a man. Next, you want to marry a woman. What are you going to marry? A dog, an, a plant, a tree, a rock? Because, because human nature will never be content. Human nature will never be content. Because human nature outside of God will always lean towards evil. And Satan will never stop giving you poison. That is the role of a snake. The snake can only do one thing, gives poison. What a poisonous world. Next time you go clubbing, you are, you are supporting Satan. I'll say this very bluntly. Next time you go to a Hollywood singer, you are supporting Satan. Next time you buy anything of this worldly nature, you are supporting Satan. Enough, enough. My people come out of it. Do not be where Satan dwells. Come out of that place. Come out of it. The United Nations, why is it the harlot? the mother of all harlots. We said the harlot is the one, is a Christian that is connected to Christ by name, but connected to Satan by deeds. Why then United Nations is a Christian one, since the nations, a lot of them are not Christians that gather there, because the one who established the United Nations was Great Britain and America. At the fall of, uh, at the end of World War II in 1945, Great Britain stopped and then gave way to America because they made America. And Great Britain and America established the leagues of nations which changed into the United Nations. And these two countries, America and Great Britain, what are they to the world? Christians. Christians from outside and vicious wolves from inside. And when I say America and Great Britain, I'm not meaning the people because there are absolutely wonderful people in Great Britain and in America. I'm talking about the governmental system. It is absolute evil. 